Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel today. My name is James Redden and I have a very exciting video for you guys today. So today guys, we are going to be going over my locker, doing a complete locker tour for you guys today. Now the last time I did a locker tour was back in February, I believe, and it was near the beginning of season 8. I only had like two skins from that battle pass, but now it is mid chapter 2. I'm done the whole chapter 2 season 1 battle pass, so I'm super excited to share with you my locker. Now last time we had way less than we do now just because there's been like three battle passes or even four since that last video plus any skin I have got from the item shop using V bucks and uh, starter pack skins and just a whole bunch of stuff so I hope you guys enjoy the video let's get right into it all right guys here we are at the locker now you can see some of my stuff but I'm gonna start off right here with the loading screens now I do have quite a lot as you can see and I just like to keep them on random to be honest because I don't really like to pick one, I just like to see all of them because why would you choose one? I mean, there's there's a few here that I've actually never really used or known before, but let's move on to the music. The music is pretty cool. I don't have too many of them, but I feel like I have most of them, just a few from the item shop, but all of them are pretty much from the battle passes. I use the OG classic right here, and uh, then we also have the banners and stuff like that, but I don't think you guys really want to see that. Then we also have these wraps up here now most of these again are from the battle passes i've probably only bought one or two and then been gifted a couple so thank you to the people who gifted them but yeah wraps mostly battle pass moving on now over to the emotes now i feel like emotes have always been one of the strongest parts of my locker and i feel like they're pretty strong for most people too as you can see we have quite a lot of dances again most things are, are battle pass and same with all the emoticons all battle pass but look how much stuff is in the emotes you know locker portion of the video isn't that crazy here's all the or all my favorited stuff not necessarily dances but i'm pretty sure 99 percent of all this is dances a uh, fair amount of dances bought a few from the item shop but again most of these are battle pass a lot of green emotes because those are pretty easy to purchase for 200 um and yeah here's just like all my sprays and stuff like that and they're they're kind of cool i feel like most people don't use sprays anymore and here's all the rest of my toys but yeah, so that is my emotes locker, and we're going to move on over to the contrails locker. And these, I don't even use contrails, I find they get in the way, but glyphs is actually a pretty cool one. And these all are like, alright. I just, like I said, I don't use contrails that much, so eh, they're, they're alright. I just find they get in the way, you know. Um, so I pretty much have all these just sitting here, don't use them. Glyphs though, this one's actually pretty interesting, I do like that. Anyway guys, let's move back over to the gliders now. Now the gliders, I have a fair amount of them. Again, I'm going to say this for every single one. I have like, they're mostly just from the battle pass as you can tell a lot of these are. I don't think I've ever actually purchased a glider to be honest. I do have every single winner's umbrella which is nice including the save the world ones. So that's something I really like about the gliders locker. But I again, I, I don't think I've ever purchased a glider. I believe all of those are battle pass. So moving over to the pickaxes now. This one's actually really nice, the starter pack one. But these are all the pickaxes that I own. There's like like again mostly battle pass i have bought like a few blue ones i don't think i've ever bought a purple pickaxe but uh as you can see here actually this one i really really do like i absolutely love this one this is one that i bought from the item shop and i use it all the time as you guys probably saw but uh yeah this again going over my my pickaxe locker it's pretty cool bought a few green ones this one's actually super nice like i said earlier from the starter pack i really like it you guys should definitely pick it up but uh honestly the pickaxe is looking okay but mostly battle pass and here with the back blings as well again a lot of these are from battle passes but not so much the back blings and the skins there are quite a bunch of back blings and skins that aren't from the battle pass so i'm just showing you guys here my back bling loadout uh there are quite a fair amount again i still kind of have a hard time finding what suits skins a little bit but yeah so this is the back pack backpack this is the back bling locker and now guys onto the skin locker now as you can see my beautiful royal knight right here but Going into the skin locker, we have about 110 skins, I believe. Around that number, give or take a few. But yeah, we have 
quite a lot of skins actually which uh is a little frightening i didn't know i spent that much money on the game again like i'm gonna say a lot are battle pass but when you get down to the blue and the green skins most of them are item shop and a few as well like i just bought this skin the globe the Oh my gosh, why am I forgetting the name? I can't even see it. The uh, the globe whatever, globe trotter or something. Uh, that, that was actually a really good skin. I really do like that, and I did buy that. But coming down now to the, the blue skins, a lot of these are purchased, except the knights and the battle pass skins from this season. Cryptic's actually a really nice skin as well that I just got. But a lot of these, like, you don't really get them from the battle passes. You get them, like, the Demogorgon here from the item shop. And then you get a lot of the green skins from the item shop as well. So I have spent a fair amount on skins, but I've stopped, like, buying stuff in the game. You know, that sort of thing. I kind of just get V-Bucks from logging in to save the world and doing daily challenges. And then also, I do buy the starter packs because those are very good deals. But yeah... That is the locker, guys. Here is the item shop for today, guys. I'm not actually ending the video right now. I think we'll show the item shop, and then we will go over into my career and show you guys my stats. So here, guys, we are in the career section, and I'm just about to show you guys my stats right here. They're not, like, the greatest. As you can see, 42 solo wins. That's all right. It's not the best, but it's also not the worst. Thir 362 top 10, 696 top 5. Here's my duos. 90 wins which is actually a fair amount thank you cosmic for helping me 465 top 5 and 910 top 12s here's my squads 55 wins not terrible top 3 171 times and 314 top sixes which isn't terrible but the ltms is where i light it up 134 wins players outlasted 56,000 eliminations 2,800 so that is my stats guys so i want to thank you guys so much for watching the video i hope you guys enjoyed this updated version of my locker tour and make sure to let me know down below which skins you have that i might not have or vice versa skins that i have that you might want but yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like the video make sure you leave a like and subscribe but that was james redden signing off for now we will catch you in the next video which is actually going to be a banger so make sure you stay tuned peace out